Rahman Rahim. Assalamu alaikum dear kids. In this video we will study another type of organic compounds found in living cells that is lipids. The term lipid is derived from a Greek word lipos which means fat. What are lipids? Lipids are a class of heterogeneous compounds. That is lipids are a group of different types of organic compounds. Characteristics the term lipid is simply a name for a group of organic compounds that share some common characters. Number one, lipids are non-polar, that is, they do not have charge ends. Insoluble in water, hydrophobic, water heating or water fearing, as they lack polar groups, and easily soluble in organic solvents such as ether, acetone, petrol, alcohol, etc. Lipids usually contain carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen, phosphorus, but lesser oxygen and more hydrogen as compared to carbohydrates. For example, this is a triesterene, a beef fat. It has chemical formula that is C57H110 hydrogen 110 or 6 so it has much less oxygen and more hydrogen as compared to carbohydrates lipids contain more carbon to hydrogen bonds very important therefore give more carbon to hydrogen bonds therefore give double the amount of energy as carbohydrates lipids classification lipids are classified into various groups Acyl glycerols are triglycerides, phospholipids, waxes, steroids, and terpenoids. We will discuss or study these groups one by one. So, the first group is triglycerides or acyl glycerols. Why called triglycerides? Tri refers to three fatty acids because they, can, they are made up of three fatty acids and glyceride and a three carbon alcohol known as glycerol commonly known as fats and oils and these are the most abundant lipids in living organisms. So chemically acyl glycerols can be defined as esters of fatty acids and alcohol. Acyl glycerols can be defined as esters of fatty acids and alcohol. What is ester? An ester is a compound produced as a result of chemical reaction of an alcohol with acid of an alcohol with acid and water molecule is released now triglycerides these are the most common acyl glycerols composition triglycerides glycerides as the name indicate they are composed of two components one glycerol glycerol is a three carbon alcohol and three fatty acids what is glycerol glycerol is short chain alcohol or three carbon alcohol with each bearing hydroxyl group three carbon alcohol one two three and each bearing a hydroxyl group and what is fatty acid the general formula of fatty acid is this Fatty acid consists of R, C, double H. C, double H carboxyl group and R is a long hydrocarbon chain. So, fatty acid consists of a long hydrocarbon chain with carboxyl group at one end. Most fatty acids in cell contain 16 to 18 carbon atoms. 16 to 18 carbon atoms. Now, fatty acid consists of a long hydrocarbon chain with carboxyl group at one end. Now, fatty acids and glycerol are joined together by condensation reaction. This is glycerol, 3 carbon alcohol, each bearing a hydroxyl group 1, 2, 3, and these are 3 fatty acids 1, 2, 3, 3 fatty acids. So, in condensation, a hydroxyl group is removed from one monomer and hydrogen is removed from another monomer. So, three water molecules are removed and a triglyceride molecule is formed. A triglyceride molecule is 
formed with the release of three water molecules in the presence of enzyme like base. So this molecule is called triglyceride. Why? Because three fatty acids are attached. Because three fatty acids are attached covalently bonded to one glycerol molecule. The lipid is called triglyceride. And this bond is known as Easter bond. This bond is known as Easter bond. This bond is known as Easter bond. What is Easter bond? We have already defined it. And Easter is a compound produced as a result of chemical reaction of an alcohol and acid. This bond between alcohol and acid is known as Easter bond. So acyl glycerols are triglycerides. These are the Easter's. These are the esters of fatty acids and alcohol. Now fatty acids, as we already studied that fatty acids are long hydrocarbon chains with carboxyl group as functional group at one end. The fatty acids have even number of carbon atoms that is 20 to 30. Most common 16, most common fatty acids are 16 carbon and 6, 18 carbon. Most common 16 carbon and 18 carbon fatty acids in living systems. There are two types of fatty acids saturated fatty acids and unsaturated fatty acids. Saturated fatty acids, unsaturated, what are saturated? Saturated fatty acids have single bond only. Saturated fatty acids have only single bond between carbon atoms. While unsaturated fatty acids have one or more double bonds between some carbon atoms. Saturated fatty acids, as they have only single bonds, so they cannot accommodate more hydrogen atoms. While unsaturated fatty acids can accommodate more hydrogen atoms depending upon the number of double bonds. These are solid at room temperature, unsaturated, they are liquid at room temperature, oils, these are fats. These are present in animals as fats. For example, phalmatic acid is an un, is a saturated fatty acid having 16 carbons. And unsaturated fatty acids, they are present in plant seeds as oils. For example, linoleic and oleic acid, 18 carbon, having 18 carbons.